What do you mean I'm going to lose the rights unless I make another reboot video? Look, that's what the lawyer team says. If I make the film now, we lose the rights. Well, I'll see what I can do. Hey, everyone. Uh, hang on. Let me fix that title card real quick. Okay, there we go. What's this? Crappy CGI. Oh, no. That could only mean it must be time for a franchise reboot. Hey, remember that line? It was in the original video. Laugh. Laugh now, you sheep. This is what the marketing committee says you want. Yes, it's time for another reboot video on my video on rebooting. Is this just a shameless cash grab? Of course not. This is most definitely not the result of creative bankruptcy and shameless nostalgia profiteering. Oh, hey, that nostalgia well is getting kind of dry. Oh, well, can't be anything worth worrying about. Wait a minute. Didn't I already make that point in the reboot video, but better? Oh, hey, a lens flare. See, that makes it already better than the original. Wow, I should consider expanding upon some of the previous points of the old video to provide the audience with a fresh perspective on the topic of franchise reboots. But that's hard, so instead, here's some pointless cinematic universe building. Hey, everybody, it's my inner creativity, a new TWA expanded universe character. Wow, JP, I sure hope that. Okay, enough of that. Hey, wait, who is that lying on the ground behind your shed? Sorry about that. He was the only one I could keep the rights to. Now, the rest of the new TWA Expanded Cinematic Universe Expanded is mostly C to D tier characters. Well, I did snag that one A-lister, so I'll have to build everything around him. But that one will be the foundation of the new rebooted alternate timeline TWA Expanded Universe. Man, even though I paid a lot for the rights for these characters, there really isn't a lot here. Well, I'll just water the soup down a little bit. No one will notice. Universe Expanded moving on. More CGI. That effect cost me the equivalent of the GDP of South America. That's a good use of money there, even if it crunched an entire effects studio to death. Eh, but that's their problem. Maybe they'll get an effects award after they go bankrupt because I promised to pay them the movie profits. I'll let you in on a little secret. Movies don't make a profit. Not in America, at least. Man, this video is all over the place. Wasn't the original way more organized and flowed more naturally between its points? Look! More characters from the Expanded Universe! Everyone aboard the cameo train! JP, this script needs work. Yeah, no kidding. This is more like a collection of skits than a real video. Shush, and get back into character. You're the one butchering our characters all for a cheap joke. We were better in the original. This pittance of dialogue is unworthy of me. Me, the Dark Lord. My dialogue is the essence of what makes me the Dark Lord. For every word I utter carries a power that cannot be denied. None can withstand my wicked monologues, for they are the essence from which I inflict my will upon the world. What the Dark Lord will eventually say is that you really need to utilize us, rather than just have us show up in a vain attempt to float the audience's attention. Okay, enough of that. All right, that's taken care of. Oh boy, my reboot video is off to such a good start. And it's so subtle, too. Hmm. Some people might think this video is bad, so I better address the criticisms of the last video. I wonder what those were. Should I go back and check? Nah. But I will take a passive-aggressive stab at my critics before claiming that I've addressed their concerns. My rebooted reboot will be hot take proof. Because stopping people from bad faith interpretations of a work is totally plausible. This new reboot will totally feature a diverse cast of characters. In the marketing material, at least. Bait? Why would I need that? I'm not fishing. Maybe I should take a second look at this script to make sure there are no... problematic elements? I think I covered that in the original video. Should I really spend all this time worrying about nitpicks and instead focus on making a good reboot? Of course not! I must pick a fight with those naysayers who make their living posting crappy top 10 videos and angry review YouTubers. I will have my revenge, sarcastic movie reviewer underscore 73 at hotmail.com, if that is your real name. Using my massive platform to punch down at nobodies who are paid a pittance for a thousand word hate click hack articles is totally a winnable proposition in terms of effort spent. Ah yes, ad riddle clickbait aggregate website articles and red letter media wannabe YouTubers with 20 hour long review videos. That's the height of online critique there. Here's a free honest tip. You're not red letter media. 
Speaking of critics... Ah, oh, great, it's the one character I want to leave out of my new expanded universe. What are you doing here, inner critic? The studio is getting nervous about their investments, so they sent me... Because you really need an editor. Oh, I hate you so much. You're like one of those unfunny skits in those old internet review videos. You know the ones where the reviewer would talk to a costume version of themselves? And now I'm stuck with you. Truly scathing, JP. Also a tangent. We'll have to edit that out. Also, probably your entire diatribe against internet critics will have to go. Biased much there, critic? Also, like you're one to talk. There is nothing wrong with my 76-hour review of The Last Jedi, JP. Now focus. This is a reboot, not a Monty Python sketch. Ugh. Well, this video I is even you. more all hey, over the place everyone. than your usual uh, tripe. Now let's see if we can edit this into something real. better. A title card joke? There is no letter in the alphabet that describes okay, how low tier that joke go. is. What's this? crappy CGI. And oh, a no. reference Back to top it all off. Lazy. I would reboot. expect no less hey, from you. Lens flare. See, oh my god, do you really have a lens flare in every wow. scene? Oh, I'm going to need the big the shears for this one. Whatever, you busy yourself doing that. I have a reboot to reboot. Now, what characters did I use in the original? Ah, well, I guess I'll kill them all off unceremoniously now. Gotta make way for my new characters that come out of nowhere. Now, the main reason I'm doing this is because I hate the original. I hate everything to do with it, and anyone who likes the original reboot video was probably a lowbrow witless slobs with less brain cells than a tardigrade. Now, I should really make sure that contempt comes across in the video. It's always a good move to attack your own fans. I mean, it works for the comic book industry. That's why they hired them and put them in charge, as they can think of no greater punishment for their fans. Speaking of fans, here is some fan service. The Love Triangle. There, I did it, quota filled. That should shut them up, especially when they start whining about how I'm missing the point of the original. So what? My success puts me above everyone else, and I can shove my incoherent conspiracy theory rants wherever I want, especially in the script. You can't trust the government ever. Except for the Chinese government, of course. China is great and has no problems whatsoever. And I'm not just saying that to get access to that huge, juicy, but heavily censored market. Okay, JP, I've edited it down. Also, aren't you getting a bit too racy there? What? No, of course not. It's not like my reboot's constant reshoots have shot up the production costs to the point that a significant chunk of the world population has to buy a ticket just to break even, not to mention the marketing. Besides, I think it's unfair that I'm being forced to let you edit this video. Once the dust settles, I'll come out with my own edit. I'll call it the JP Cut. Hey, PJ. It's JP. Whatever. Look, focus group doesn't like it. Make it meta. Kids love meta. Also, spice up the dialogue with some of that. Uh, what's his name? The foot guy? Writes funny dialogue? Going to have to narrow it down more. Got canceled? That doesn't help much either. His screenplay saved one big superhero movie and sank a different one. Oh, you mean Whedon-esque dialogue? Yeah, that's the one. Make it snappy and self-aware. What if it undercuts the drama for being too glib and insufferable? Who cares? People don't want drama. Drama emotionally exhausts people and makes them feel bad. Feeling is bad. Thinking ain't all that great either. Instead, give them a chuckle or two and then distract them with some flashy lights. Oh, and add a few more lens flares, too. Now get to it. Man, my intelligence is directly proportional to the size of my overseas bank account. Well, the boss wants it, so in it goes. Cursed executive meddling. What are we going to do about the advertising budget? Okay, hear me out. We go... woke. JP, I personally know you don't give a crap about any cause other than fattening your wallet. You don't know anything about the minority groups that you are writing about, and your understanding of activist culture is rudimentary at best. You don't even know half of the lingo or what is currently considered politically correct. Well, that's okay. They can't agree on any of it anyway, so it'll be a wash. Besides, I'm not going woke for them. The main reason to shoehorn in progressive politics into my reboot is so the online whiny man-baby industrial review complex will cry about it and give me free press. Marketing is the most expensive part of a reboot, and these guys will do it for me for free, provided the original marketing implies it's all about female empowerment or something. Actually, I can probably just slot in a woman in the protagonist slot and call it a day. But it will be largely negative attention. So? Attention is attention, and I'm going to get me some of that sweet, sweet culture war money. I mean, yeah, they'll review bomb it, but who cares about that metric? Then what metric are we looking for, then? Well, not ticket sales or profit. Is it the gross? 
can't remember. Oh, for the love of good writing. JP, your reboot is a disaster from beginning to end. It meanders relentlessly. The pacing is somehow too fast and too slow. There are pointless cameos everywhere. The art is inconsistent. The voice acting is mediocre. The script is a wreck. The symbolism is far too on the nose. And the dialogue is bad. This video has no redeeming features whatsoever, and its meta-commentary does not excuse its shortcomings. This entire thing is basically your original reboot video, but worse in every way. Hey everyone, great news! I know this reboot has had a troubled production, but it turns out I can use it as a tax write-off. How? By canceling it. But the video is almost finished. Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure, but I have better things to do, and this sad excuse for a cinematic universe is about to be liquidated. Farewell. Wait, that portal, is that a Chrono Trigger reference? It's at a getting. We can take cover over there. Why are there no ads on this spot? Oh, this one got age restricted? Every other video is going to be drowning in ads forever. It's over. Not quite. I can still block some of the ads if I can get to the center of the intergate. But, Sir Adblock, there's too many ads, even for you to block. True, but I might be able to block at least half of all videos from ads. You'll die trying to block them all. I... we can't go on without you. Remember what I told you about change? Haven't you noticed how those around you have started to change? You have all the tools you need to shape these broad archetypes into something greater. Something that can defeat greed. You can do it. I know you can. Farewell, my commander. Farewell, old friend. This trek would be easier if you were on Nebula. Not going to make this easy for me, are you, Greed? Leaving yet another sponsor in my way. Nebula is a streaming service built by a host of educational content creators here on YouTube, featuring original content by these creators as well. One day, I dream of a world where artists are paid for their art without the need for invasive advertising. A place where art is valued and the artists rewarded. Nebula has even teamed up with Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service with thousands of documentaries and nonfiction titles. A place where everyone can make art and not worry about money or basic survival. Titles like Myths and Monsters. Listen to David Attenborough talk all about bioluminescence and light on Earth or unleash your inner child by watching Amazing Dino World. But that place is a distant dream that I will not live to see. TWA fans can sign up at curiositystream.com slash TWA and get 26% off Curiosity Stream's annual subscription for less than $15 a year. That's $14.79 using the code TWA to get both Curiosity Stream and free Nebula access, including ad-free TWA videos. But my commander, I hope against hope that you might live to see that world, to see even the TWA universe freed from the shackles of advertising. But until then, this is all I can do. Ugh, I, I think I did it. I did it and managed to survive. Grr! I think Chrome killed Abblock. Uh, he'll get better, right?